Can you upgrade your car with eBay products? Let's find out. This year for the Civic, I kind of want to just make it a little bit cleaner. Fix up the small details before we go turbo. So we got new stickers. I know y'all guys are thinking, oh my God, Jarek with the sticker mods. Come on now. But these stickers of these Gram Life 57s, they are coming Ooh. off. Plus, I don't think the yellow goes with the blue very well. We're gonna put these gram light stickers on where the old sticker used to be. And then eventually in the future, we are gonna paint these calipers the same as this gram light sticker. So actually a few days after I filmed this video, I actually painted the calipers blue. As you can see, they turned out pretty good for my rattle can experience. That ace more. All right, so now I'm just using rubbing alcohol to get all this adhesive off. I got these for cheaper. I think these are the knockoff Gram Light stickers for like 15 bucks, but the real ones, if you buy the real one, it's like 50 bucks for a full set for just stickers. Wow, check that out. This, if you guys look closely, okay. This is a VMS cover. Not sponsored or anything. I literally bought this cover from eBay. It's a shift boot. It's a leather shift boot with blue stitching on it. And a lot of people do red on these Civics because it's Type R inspired. The exhaust is leaking in here. And obviously this is not gonna fix it because I still need to weld the exhaust, but uh, this will cover most of the smell. And actually some of the exhaust fumes is coming through here. And uh, eventually I do wanna get blue seats in here just to match everything, make it a blue theme, kinda almost like a double X style. Boom, just like that. All right, now the main piece is out. All right, so we have this old yonky donkey piece out. So now it's just fitting all these brackets in. Oh yeah, you like that close up? There we go, this is the best I could do. Boom, screw it in like so. Looks pretty good to me. Pretty classic, pretty clean. Now we're ready to race. Da, da, da. Put this back in. This is how the shift boot looks. Because I did lower it just a little bit for the high racing shifter. Matches pretty good, it's nice and leather. I tried to make it as OEM as I could. Uh, with the blue stitching and then match the blue stitching with the steering wheel. So this tag light, this tab has been broken for the longest time and it's been just been dangling like that. The other one surprisingly doesn't. So we have an alternative for this. Definitely don't want to get pulled over in this. So we bought some new ones from eBay, of course. It should be a plug and play. These are new tabs and it even has the weather stripping around it. Boom, just like that, it's off. And let's add, oh God. Definitely need new shocks. And yeah, it's pretty frail and that's why I didn't kept the tag light in. And that's why it kept coming out. This is slightly thinner on the newer one. I hope this fits. Oh my God. Oh. Pen came out. <gasps> oh no. Wow. Is it broken? No. I ain't gonna lie, it doesn't fit the best. But it's not the worst. to do a little detail mods because I feel like every little detail counts and that makes the car just even so much cleaner. 